it wouldn't be Friday without another crazy drop from Runway. This one is within Gen 3 Alpha Turbo, and it's called Advanced Camera Control. And as it sounds, you can control the camera movement. So first you have to add in an image. It doesn't do it straight from text prompting, so I'm gonna use this one from Unknown. Um, but right here, you can see that you can do camera movement right with your mouse control. Just click on the image and you can drag it all the way across or ground down and it will mimic a camera movement. If you look down at the sliders, it automatically does it for you. Um, of course, you should always put a prompt in to show what is happening with the subject in the scene. Um, and that will actually help the model understand more what's, what's happening with the camera movement as well. Let's hit generate. If you look down here, they also have some templates. So you can click on um, any of these templates and it'll show you uh, with the graphical feature up front what it, it's going to look like. It also allows you to input what the subject is and what the subject action is for each camera movement. A uh, pretty cool feature, which mimics the prompting templates that are already uh, in Gen 3 Alpha. So I'm going to try a few more different prompts. Um, you have to erase it each time or else it adds on to the end of the last prompt, um, as you see there. So this one, the camera lowers to the ground and tilts up, revealing a low angle shot of subject and subject details are the monster as it walks down the hall of an museum. Okay, we're going to let those bake for a couple minutes, but I think we got our first one here, lowers to the ground and tilts up. So it does the camera movement that it says it's going to do. There's no movement with the subject though, um, as I look at it here, which is great, um, you know, for some uses, but that, you know, if I wanted this to be a cinematic shot of it walking, um, that's not necessarily, you know, what it's coming to be. Same thing, great camera movement. Um, but, I, you know, for this shot, I wanted it to walk down the hall. So we'll have to take that in strides and, and see what uh, the next few versions of this end up being. Yeah, no, this is an orbit shot, which is awesome. I mean, look at that orbiting around, just look at the hallway. This would be, you know, impossible shot to do in a real art museum. Uh, but just look at, you know, the, the character is kind of morphing all over the place. Uh, very remnant of Gen 2. But like I said, this dress dropped and <laughs> we'll see where we're at in a week from today. And here we go. See if that had any help changing the prompt. So a little more movement with the character. Um, the arc right to the right is amazing. Um, oh, it wanted to turn the character. It, it just didn't understand that what the character was um, quite yet. So it's making it turn to the left and walk camera left as opposed to uh, going down the hallway that it's currently facing. Let's see, this is a cool futuristic uh, BMW image. Um, and this is a the camera lowers to the ground. Uh, pretty dang cool shot, but my original image doesn't have rear view mirrors in it uh which it really wants it to <laughs> if it puts it on there but it still looks great um i actually think that that's a great addition to this and something i missed uh, while generating that image um so thank you runway okay so let's see here's the camera pulls back slowly as it rotates uh, as the people kiss each other's lips so just like i did on that first gen turbo test the models don't actually kiss each other but this is an amazing camera movement and is going to be, I mean, immediately applicable to some projects. Um, here's the second one. Let's see what this one is. Uh, the camera orbits around the black demon as the two people kiss. Okay. Play and great orbit. It's recreate. It's keeping the horns pretty intact. Uh, reveal the horn on the left side of the, the head of the black demon. Just great. Kept the three. One's the same for the white demon. And we see a full orbiting shot. That's just absolutely amazing. Obviously, the next step is getting the prompt coherence a little bit better here. But um, I'm pretty happy with this feature. Okay, let's try one more shot really quick. It's a robot walking down the street. We'll do it like a typical end of movie uh, tilt up or, or jib up. And... The camera movement's great, 
but nothing's happening in the scene. It's basically doing it to a still photo. Uh, so not quite the movie ending scene I was hoping for, but you know, this is a start. We finally have some sort of camera control for uh, Gen 3. And uh, yeah, I just can't wait to see, you know, what Runway rolls out with next week. So as always, be well, do good, and make awesome things. <laughs>